Hi again, this is Omar Ramos from Orware. And with this video, I'm going to go ahead and, and give you a little background on the plugin and the primary uses for the plugin. Um, so just to, just to start off, um, I do work for a college here in Southern California. And the college has a lot of files that need to be organized and placed online. Um, and our previous website, this may sound familiar to you, um, files were uploaded, you know, wherever by staff, and, uh, and then linked manually within the page. So as an example, um, we used to have uh, our, our board minutes um, and agendas, and, um, and the ladies there in the, in the president's office, um, you know, they, they had their page, their area where they could go and upload the files, and um, after uploading the files, they would manually insert the link to those documents within a table that they had created. And if anyone that's ever worked with uh, HTML tables um, would probably agree that they can be a little unwieldy, uh, particularly for, for folks that, that don't necessarily know HTML. Um, so uh, suffice to say, there is a lot of inconsistency in the presentation for, for documents on the website. Um, so, so if that scenario sounds familiar to you, that's essentially, you know, the, the wild west of, of document management um, on websites. And, um, excuse me. Um, okay, so as I began work um, some years ago on our new Joomla-based website and doing the research and planning for all that, uh, I did know that I wanted to use a document management system once I migrated our site to Joomla. And eventually, I ended up settling on, on using Docman 1.6, um, simply because it was kind of the, the longest uh, um, program that had been around for document management system on the, on the Joomla platform. Um, so I knew it was fairly well supported, stable, um, it had fairly good support. Um, so at this time, as I was doing my research, um, you know, I was really happy with Docman. Um, it was great at storing files with the virtual category structure, but I did notice that there was one limitation. The default DocLink plugin would insert the link to your document manually into your HTML. Um, and really this means that when your document was later updated in Docman, the changes wouldn't be automatically reflected to your site. And just as an example of this, if I open up a page here, and let's say I wanted to add in a link right here um, to a document that I had already uploaded. So I open up the, the link here. If I click on a file, insert the document link. See, at this point, whether it's a document link or category link, I show you the HTML source code here. You'll see right here. So this is the document link. You'll see that the link itself was directly inserted into the code. It's not a, a plugin that later gets processed um, when the page is displayed. It's just statically inserted at that particular moment. And the same thing goes for the categories. So Let's say I ended up changing this category name tomorrow and changed it to something else completely, or this file name, I changed it, or deleted it. Um, this page would not get updated automatically. And so that's kind of the drawback of the, the current, you know, plugin that, that comes with Docman by default. So kind of knowing this and analyzing it, um, I really wanted to get to the point for, for our staff where they could just worry about uploading the file and not really having to worry about the rest. You know, so they wouldn't have to go into a page and create some HTML. They wouldn't have to go and insert a link anywhere. Basically, I just wanted them to worry about the file submission, and that was it. Um, 
So, and in addition to, to that simplification, I also wanted to improve upon this. So, whereas the DocLink plugin is limited to just linking one file at a time manually, so essentially if I wanted to create a, a listing here um, of, of these documents, I would have to kind of go in here, come back here, click on the next file, insert it, press enter, open it up again, click it again, click on the next file, insert it. So as you can see, I mean, that's still a fairly manual process. Um, and I wanted to kind of get out of that, that business completely. And there wasn't a way to say, list all of these categories and subcategories and their files automatically. Um, and so really at that point, that's when I, I had the idea for, for Docman List and creating a content plugin that would handle that for me and for us there at the college. Um, so I began working on some prototypes at home and uh, uh, kind of tested it made with the new implementation there at work of the, of the site and then later made it the, the first commercial extension to be offered over at orware.com. And the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs>